What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here. Today we have a, the project of cleaning up these knuckles. Uh, I gotta clean them up, get them ready to weld on the high steer arms and I have to get the ball joints out, put new ball joints or maybe even ball joint eliminators in. I haven't decided on that route yet. Gotta order parts there, but I wanna get these cleaned up and get the high steer arms welded on. Hammer works every time. Sandblast cabinet just wasn't putting out enough media like I, I don't know it wasn't putting out a whole lot it wasn't sucking it up i'm not sure the issue but i don't want to waste a bunch of time on that i want to get the jeep done so i'm going to just take the angle grinder and take one of the uh braided wheels there and take care of all that rust okay, another day i'm finally getting to get some work done on the jeep today we are going to take these knuckles finally get them all welded up Super excited I get to try out my new Miller welding hood that I bought. And uh, yeah, enough talking, let's get to it. All right, so I got the first knuckle all welded up. Looks pretty good. It's tricky getting into some of the areas uh, underneath here, but got it welded up nice and hot. I'm gonna keep making sure I post heat it and start welding the other one, get them both done today.
so I got the other side all mounted up with the coilover. Finally got the lower ball joint tightened up on this side. It just wanted to keep spinning. So uh, I got the mounts all stretched out so they'll fit the coilovers. Now time to mount up this side and see if we can get her sitting on our own weight. I didn't have to stretch these too much, just a little bit to be able to fit the larger size of the coilover. After we get the coilover, the second coilover all mounted up, I want to clean out some space here in the garage. It's becoming a mess again. Uh, so I can have room to mount these other two tires on the bead locks and just try to get it sitting on its own weight so I can dial it in because that coilover right there is on zero preload right now. I'm sure that's going to be way too tall and I'm going to have to add preload. But I won't know what to add until I get the weight of the vehicle on it. Okay, I didn't show you the process, but the other day got the front tires on and she's sitting on her own weight, finally. Uh, had a couple issues. It was kind of sketchy the way I had to do it. Had to have the engine hoist lifting up the front. Uh, jacked it way up in or just or in order to get the tires on. But I did end up having a slight issue and I'll show you what that is. And I have a possible solution short term and long term. Let's talk about that. All right, so the issue I ended up having is these TMR knuckles reading a little bit more on the site. I need at least four and a quarter backspacing, but these rims are only four and a half backspacing, so it ends up contacting right here. I've seen a few people grind away, and I might do that eventually, but what I ended up picking up is a set of just half inch wheel spacers and uh, gonna try to bolt these on, see if it makes a difference. So I got the other side installed and now that, of course, the vehicle wants to roll, Yes, my axle is quite a bit this way. I don't have a track bar. I don't have upper control arm. Speaking of upper control arm, that is why I have a jack stand right here now. The axle wants to uh, flip. The pinion wants to fold down, and that's causing the whole thing to shift. So put that under there until I can get an upper control arm welded on. That might be one of the next steps. I wanted to wait until I kind of got it setting on its own weight, make sure I knew kind of where the axle was going to sit, and then uh, go from there. All right, this has been enough of a hodgepodge video. I'm going to work on getting this video edited, uploaded, so you can actually see a video for once. And now that I'm starting to make some progress, the weather's starting to be nicer. I want this thing on the trails this year, so expect to see some more regular videos from me again and uh, be some more builds and then finally hitting the trails. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping, I'm out.